What's going on guys? As most of you already know, my name is Chad and today I'm going to bring you some free-for-all tips. Yeah, big surprise, right? But it's not going to be a MOAB for dummies. I was going to use this as a second look, you know, like I did with Carbon. But, I don't know, there's some things that I wanted to talk about just in gameplay in general, not necessarily free-for-all. But first things first, if you guys could hit this video up with a like, I would really appreciate it. A friend of mine told me that for every rating, like or dislike you get on a video, it accounts for 8 extra views. And I'm not 100% sure that I buy that yet, but I am really cur curious how you know the whole YouTube system works. I always follow the numbers and the stats and all that kind of good stuff, so I'm just curious how it works. You know, I've never asked you guys for a like in the past, and I probably never will again. But if you could do it for, you know, just this once, just to see what happens, I would appreciate it. So hit it up with a like. With that said, uh, let's get started with some tips here. Just some general tips that you could use on any game type, not just free-for-all. First of all, I don't know if you guys are familiar with strafe shooting, but it's extremely important in this game, and a lot of people don't do it. Good players, I notice, kind of do it by uh, just by instinct, but... Newer players and players that don't do so well in the game have a tendency to panic when they first get into a gunfight, and they stand still. They stand still, they aim down sights, and they try to get on target with the right stick and forget that they can still move the left. So what strafe shooting is, is you get on target with the right stick, obviously. I mean, we all know that controls the directional movement of the character. So you get on target with the right stick, but if you're a little bit off, say you're a little bit off to the left, Use the left stick to strafe to the right to get on target. Don't use the right stick. What this does is it allows you to be much more precise, especially now in Modern Warfare 3 with Stalker, because you can obviously, your lateral movement's so much faster aiming down sights. So, you know, it allows you to be more precise, and two, it makes you a moving target in gunfights, and you move so much faster right to left with Stalker, especially with an SMG, that... An average player is not going to expect that, and they're not going to be able to follow you with their gun because they're probably playing on two sensitivity anyways, or whatever the default is. So they're probably not even going to be able to follow you with their gun. So strafe to one side. Never, never strafe back. Don't strafe back and forth because strafing backwards, if you go right and then you go back left, you're strafing right back into their bullets. So don't do that. <laughs> you know, almost strafe in a circle around them if you can. And obviously the gunfight shouldn't last that long for you to make a complete circle. If it does... I think you have more problems than <laughs> than just learning how to strafe shoot. So practice that, guys. I promise you that it's going to help you a lot in gunfights. The second thing I really wanted to talk about was uh, just kind of sprinting around corners. You know, use your head when you're running around corners. And I, I understand most people don't sprint around corners most of the time. But there's always that one time where you just get a little bit lazy and you're like, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to sprint. There's, I know there's no one around here. And the minute you say there's no one around there, there probably is. So don't sprint around corners. With Stalker, again, you don't have to s sprint. You know what I mean? You can aim down sights down corners. You're already almost at full movement speed with an SMG. You can aim down sights right around that corner. If anyone's there, you're already essentially looking at them. So that was my next tip. You know, just be aware of don't overuse the sprint button. You know what I mean? I, I understand people like to rush in this game, but rushing isn't all about sprinting all the time. It's just about pushing the enemy. And, you know, you're the one that engages the gunfight, you know, you're not waiting for someone to engage you. So be careful with the sprint button, like I said. My third tip, I guess, would be don't take shots that you don't aren't 100% sure you're going to be able to finish off. All this does is put you on the radar, and yeah, that's great. If you put a suppressor on, you can get away with that a little more often. But I found in free-for-all, and in any game type, I do like the suppressor, but it makes the game a little bit slower, if you know what I mean, because people aren't seeking you out. When I use one in free-for-all, they see me pop up, and by the time they come to where that red dot is, I'm already out of there anyways. I'm already moved to somewhere else. So they're they're thinking I'm in one place when I'm actually in another. So sometimes not using a suppressor is beneficial to you if you're not staying in one place. And I guess my last tip, because the video is winding down, is and it won't be a tip. I'm just going to let you know what how I feel about the setup that I'm using, obviously I'm using a specialist. I almost always do. I'm kind of addicted to it. Like I said, it's awesome to have all the perks, especially in free-for-all. I like going for mobs because I can get a 7 kill streak every single free-for-all, nearly every single free-for-all, and I can just run all the choppers and just destroy, you know, win over and over and over, which is what I do on my other account when I'm trying to level it. But when I'm trying to have fun, I go for the mob because it gives me something to shoot for. So I always use the specialist pack. Lately in free-for-alls, I've been starting out with Scavenger Pro. And I use the extended mags and rapid fire with a P90. So I start out with, what, like 425 bullets or something. I honestly didn't even have to pick up a scavenger pack this game. I could have, you know, ran off 
24 kills without even worrying about ammo. So that's awesome. That's why I use that. Um, I always use Dead Silence starting off in Free For All because if you hear anybody in Free For All, it's an enemy. I mean, obviously, because there's no teammates. And then the third perk, I, I mean, I go back and forth. I generally use Hardline just because you get that the specialist bonus at 7, but if you're going for a Moab, you're getting 24 kills anyways, So, and you're going to get Hardline when you get the bonus, so eh, you know, you could always use something else in that third slot. Maybe start out with Assassin in case anybody has a motion sensor. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. So anyways guys, I hope you learned something today. There's some other stuff I didn't want to cover. I will try to cover it in the next video. As always, I appreciate all the support. So let's get on to the recap page. All right, so for those of you that are new to the channel or those of you that just haven't watched one of my videos all the way through, this is my recap page. Just a couple videos you might have missed. The one on the left is the second look at carbon that I was talking about. Uh, it's just another way to get a Moab on carbon. If you guys want to check that out, click on it now. The video on the right is a 48 4 kill confirmed mob. It's a regular kill confirmed. I think I had 43 gun kills, because obviously the Moab killed a few of the enemies as well. But if you haven't seen that yet, that's one of the better gameplays I've got in Modern Warfare 3. So check that out. If you haven't subscribed already, click that yellow subscriber button. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. It really does help. That's where I tweet out when I play with my subscribers, when I post new videos, and all that kind of good stuff. So if you're the sub box isn't working for you, you won't miss a video there. As always, guys, I appreciate all the support, and I will catch y'all later. Peace.